a no bullshit guide that's what i'm going to present to you today hello everyone and welcome to my new video which will show you how i learned c sharp in a completely honest way and how you can learn it too by the end of this video you should know exactly what to do to learn c sharp so you have probably already watched several tutorials on YouTube such as how to learn C-Sharp easily in 2023 or learn C-Sharp in 5 minutes or all the other tutorials of this kind. You probably know what I mean. I will have you know that for a very long time I also watched tutorials of this kind but everything that I advised or said didn't seem to work for me or I couldn't remember anything afterwards. In this tutorial, I'm not going to teach you how to code in 15 minutes. I'm going to present you what you should do in order to learn to code, and I'm going to show you the right way to learn c -sharp. First of all, I lied to you. I recently posted a video explaining my journey on Unity in 5 minutes. I told you that I had been on Unity for one year and one year that I was learning c -sharp as a result. But I wasn't. Before publishing my first game, Run Chicken, I tried several times to learn to program on Unity, but I never succeeded. And you want to know why? Because I watched all the his endless tutorials on how to create a motion script on Unity or how to create an attack system on Unity. All these tutorials are really good. I'm not saying otherwise, but these tutorials will only will only help you if you already know your programming language, if you already have enough experience to understand exactly what the person in the tutorial is telling you. Be honest, then you are looking for a tutorial on how to create advanced uh, FPS movements, then you don't know how to code in C sharp. Do you understand what he is telling you and what he's writing? Probably not. Here is the biggest mistake you can make. It's a mistake I made for a very long time. I probably could have learned C Sharp 8 months earlier if I had seen a video like this. You are going to waste a lot of time if you don't apply what I'm telling you. Because by following these tutorials you will feel like you are making a lot of progress without making any. You could maybe learn to code in 8 months, you could learn to code in a lot less time than I did if you learn the right things in the right order. So from now, you are going to stop trying to create the game of your dreams. I will soon tell you what you need to learn in order, but to learn properly, you are going to have to practice. I have people in my private community which you can join in the description by the way who are looking to learn c -sharp properly but just takes note and reproduce the tutorial, which is fine, but I don't think it's enough. The best way to learn is practice. I want you to test, understand and practice every single thing you learn. If you are learning to use physics with a rigid body, don't just watch the video and copy exactly what he did and tell yourself it's a given. Of course, you should watch the video and copy his example, but that's not enough. I will take a personal example. At the very beginning, I followed this series of wacky tutorials. After completing it, I decided to modify the game by adding an explosion effect for the player when he dies. To do this, I searched forums, forums and Unity tutorials and found that I needed found that I needed to use the Unity Particle System and the Destroy function. So I learned how to use the Particle System and how to activate this explosion when the player dies. That's where I started to make progress, because that's where I learned the right method. The Unity forums and YouTube tutorials are the only two learning tools you will need. For those of you who want me to re recommend YouTube channels for learning Unity, I recommend the Charger Games channel which helped me for a lot of things, but only once I had learned the basics. Before that, you won't understand anything. So the most important thing is to practice what you have learned, not just copy it. I'm now going to take you through what you need to learn in C-Sharp in the best possible order. From the basics, 
to the most adva advanced uh, point. First of all, there is an order to the concept you are going to learn. In my opinion, you should start by concentrating on variables, float, bool, int and string, which are the only ones you will need for Unity. Next, void, such as update and start, then public, private and static variables. Then, how to access a component? All components, you don't need to learn them all at once, Learn them as you need them, so you, for example, if you need the rigid body, go and see on forums or YouTube video how to modify it in your code. It's the same for all components. Then, and this is very important, conditions and inputs. Next, on collision, enter and on trigger, enter, exit and say also. Coroutines, which are timers. Then, loops, all through, I don't think they are that important at first. And finally, at first, transform Vector3 and Quaternion. It's the most complicated because it's a lot of math and physics. So I put it at the end because it's a very advanced point. You can also learn about animations in your code. So for example, animator, set bool, set trigger, etc. etc. Of course, you will still have a lot to learn after all that, but you have got the basics here. And after that, you can already start creating little video games. What's more, as you have already done the hard part, the rest of the learning curve will be much simpler, as you will have enough of the basics to understand the more advanced points. After all that, you will need to get started on your first project. And please, Start with very simple things. Please, we don't care whether the game looks good or not. The graphics will really be the least important thing. We just want to create a game that can be played. Your first game has to be very simple. And to make it even simpler, I suggest you all make the same one so you don't have to search for an idea. You are all going to reproduce my first game in three days, just as I did. The goal of the game, for those who, of you who don't know, is very simple. You control a chicken on the roof of a building who has to avoid meteorites falling from the sky. Then, then the chicken hits a meteorite, it dies. This will be your first game like mine on my Discord server. I could do a live where I show you how to do it in just three days. Because you have only only got two things to do: a player who can move and meteorites that can that can randomly appear on the roof of this building. You will all be doing this uh, this game in three days, and if you have followed the steps above, you should be able to do it without any problems. After that, you will have learned a lot, and all you will have to do is recreate lots of little games like the, like this one which you can send to my to me on my server so that I can present them. And that's exactly how I learned and how you should learn c -Shop. It's not very complicated, you just have to work a lot. I know that every day I work about uh, 8 hours on my videos and projects. You two should work at least one hour on it every day. I hope if this video has helped you. If it has, you can put a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I am aiming for 1k subscribers by December 2023. Mm. Thanks to all and see you soon. Bye.